Well, once again, uh, thanks for joining us here at uh, at our preview on uh, the essential pig sale. And I, uh, we got 79 lots to roll through here. And I think, uh, without a doubt, uh, an awesome and unbelievable place to start here with lots one and two. And these obviously are brought to you by Kilmer's and. Uh, There'll be four litter mate gilts in total, these 27 litters uh, that we'll run through. And first up is lot one and two. And pedigree wise, these are sired by Jasper, which is obviously the $300,000 boar that uh, Rotoballs had there. And then what's uh, very intriguing is the bottom side of this pedigree, uh, which would have been Owen Heggie's uh, uh, gilt uh, that was fifth overall out there in, in Des Moines as well. And Jimmy, I think. Uh, uh, I, number one, I, th I thank you for offering these uh, to the public and uh, ones that I know that uh, when talking to you on the phone, you've been extremely excited to showcase to the public. Yes, this uh, 27 litter has been extremely good from day one. Uh, been pretty excited about them, uh, even when we got our bread and settled. Uh, and uh, they did, definitely didn't disappoint me on when we kind of got them out and going. Uh, but, uh, I mean, from weaning time all the way till now, I, I've been really excited about them. And again, that's the that's the Hagee sow that uh, we call her Hagee sow. Uh, but she was a gilt that you know out of that great litter we sold last year that went out and did really well throughout the summer. The um, not only the the one their mom, but the their mom is also litter mate to Platt's uh, champion get out gilt out there at uh, Des Moines the Brantley Platt showed. But uh, so all of that goes back to that leap sow we had at home that's been doing an extremely good job so i think uh in this 27 litter the the bloodline's going to be there to be extremely tough and, and these ones will be ones i have a lot of faith in terms of how they will feed out and hit the show ring but uh, the 20 27 6 guilt a lot one guilt is one it's uh always had that look in the nursery i'm mean, at that upheaded long neck kind of look but and what i really like about this litter is their bone and foot size that is tremendous um, I mean, I think these ones will be ones that will get better with age every day of your life. Yeah, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, just just looking at lot one there, she's not one to show off uh, the best forest out here. But uh, uh, I guess if you uh, if you want one um, that's gonna be there at the end, uh, uh, this one is is maybe as as a good of one as, as a guy could find. You could travel a lot of miles around the country. Um, uh, to find one that looks like this. But as Jim said, height to shoulder, uh, look and extension up front. But I think where this thing separates her from a lot of York gilts across the country is just her overall stoutness of feature. Uh, that's a huge forearm. She's got huge feet, square toes, good pastern, and a huge, huge hind leg. And her maturity pattern, I think, uh, is just spot on. You know, this isn't one that's uh, all bulked up and ready to go. Uh, necessarily but her skeleton or build or pattern and then still being sound and square an unbelievable lot uh, an unbelievable litter a great way to uh, start off here with lot one 